Hi everyone, my name is Archna Patel and I am the art and art history editor at UC Press. And I'm here to talk about my goals for the list and whether your project may be a good fit. As you may know, UC Press has a long history as a publisher committed to social justice. But I think this mission is sometimes more immediately obvious in other disciplines like criminology and sociology. So what does this mean for the art list? In my role, I hope to make social justice at the heart of the list by first and foremost, acknowledging and interrogating the press's role as an institutional gatekeeper. And second, by supporting the many calls for change that are already happening in the field. This includes projects that challenge traditional narratives of American art, works that give voice to overlooked artists and projects that are that expand our understanding of visual culture and its role in the world. In addition to working with scholars within art and art history, I'm also excited to open up the list to those working outside the field and outside the academy, to scholars in American studies, critical race studies, queer studies, as well as curators, critics, and others who really want to contribute to public discussions around visual culture and social justice. Overall, I plan to prioritize and support more scholars of color and books on artists of color in all types of projects, from monographs to anthologies to exhibition catalogs. This is something that I believe the discipline has desperately needed long before our current political moment. And it also comes out of my personal experience working in the arts. Finally, I just wanna give a quick shout out to a few works that highlight this approach. I'm really proud to be publishing Jordana Morris-Jesse's The Jean-Michel Basquiat Reader, which argues for the critical importance of Basquiat and interrogates whose voices we include and exclude in what we call American art. I'm also thrilled about Ma Martha Buskirk's brilliant look at art and intellectual property, Catherine Manborn's Restless Enterprise, a biography on Eliza Pratt Gretericks, and Stephanie Sparling Williams' forthcoming book on Lorraine O'Grady. There's also Joanna Pollock's Remade in America, which takes a fresh look at surrealism in the US and its connection to political protest. And Annika Lenzen's beautiful agitation, which looks at painting in Syria and builds on our global modern and transnational titles. Our exhibition catalog program also aims to spotlight BIPOC artists like Ruth Asawa and Carlos Villa who are long overdue for recognition. I could go on and on. There's so many other works I could name and you can find them all on our website. Um, but I wanna end with some encouragement to those with an idea for a project that fits this vision. If you have something to pitch, would just like to connect, please do get in touch. Send me an email. I would love to chat and connect. Thank you.